Ain't nobody gonna do shit to Amber Rose. That's a national treasure. Amber Rose. You touch that motherfucker you want to, you gonna be behind the motherfucking jail. You can talk as much shit as you want to about Amber Rose, but if a nigga talk shit about your motherfucking elder, you going off in this shit. But this white hoe can say whatever the fuck she want about your real elder, and you can't do nothing. Man, that's some fucked up, y'all nothing ass hoe. That's power. The Me Too movement, I've, I've, I've spoken about this. I attempted to counteract the Me Too movement with the Men Too movement. But they were too powerful. My videos started getting taken down. I'm going I'm to get off that. I'm going to get off that. That's how powerful they are. I'm gonna get off that. That's how powerful they are because if I go too deep in that, y'all won't even see this goddamn video. Hey, yo, Nation, look. The second stop in the Big Face Podcast Alabama tour is gonna be Tuskegee, Alabama. On October 6th, I will be on Highway 29 at Macon Motel. From Twitter 5, I'm gonna be out there holding the giveaways. This is really making it understood that I'm not the internet niggas. Um, I really talk minds outside. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get your uniform before the date, you already know where to go. Hit the link. Your shirt's going for 20. Your snapback's going for 25. Um, also, remember that if you want to donate and shit like that, it's a whole different PayPal. But that PayPal is always in the description box. You know what I'm saying? Um, all my rap niggas, I told y'all at the end of September, I'm going to open the gates back up and we're going to start promoting again. You have to have at least a $200 budget. Prices start at $200. If you do not have $200, do not contact me. If you hit me up, talking that business shit, and that fucking talk don't end no more fucking transaction, my nigga, you blocked, period. If you don't have $200, this goes for business owners. If you have a product that you want me to promote on the show, you're fucking me up. <laughs> and you don't got $200, man, don't fuck up our relationship like that, because I'm going to block you. You know what I'm saying? $200, just like that. This simple. That's how powerful they are. A real nigga has to censor himself if he wants his voice to be heard. The racism. It's hard for me to talk about the racism side of this. Because, yes, Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, uh, the gay dude that was giving folks HIV... Just Donald Trump, Woody Allen, just, just name a white motherfucker. No criminal charges. No criminal charges have even been pushed upon them, let alone them being sentenced. But that's to be expected. I can't, I can't act surprised on that. I can't act surprised on that. Because it's to be expected. Why would you expect for a black man to be treated the same way as a white man? Why would you expect that? At this point in time, we have an open case. I'm going to keep saying this. Where a innocent man was killed inside his own home by a white bitch. Police officer. And they served his shit before they gave her a toxicology test. <laughs> they got police officers and paramilitary groups wearing black people's skin in Chicago. At what point do you expect equality? If they sold you on equality, then I'm pretty sure they sold you on the moon landing. They sold you on 9-11. Okay, see bombing and a whole bunch of other shit that I can't talk about. Because they said on TV, 
doesn't mean that you have it in real life. You understand? When you see the Burger King uh, chicken nuggets on TV, they're fluffy. When they hit the ground, they bounce. Golden brown. The Big Mac is made with lettuce that is all, you know what I'm saying? Tomatoes are fresh. 100% real Angus ground beef. Cut that bitch. You notice that when you actually go there, not only does the food not look like that, but the theme music, you know what I'm saying, doesn't match. You go to a Burger King and they playing boost in the background and ask you what the fuck you want. Like you bothering them. It's so bad to where uh, black bitches know what the fuck it is. Them bitches will not pull off after getting their food until they check every goddamn item. Because they know what the fuck going on. Motherfuckers that Chick-fil-A get they shit and move. You know it's right on point. I've told y'all about the three S's and the only thing that I can say in this situation is I proposed a 30 day fast on crime due to inequality within the judicial system and now because they have now exceeded the racial lines and now they're on a gender line I'm gonna have to ask everyone sorry I'm gonna ask I'm gonna have to ask everyone I don't know no other way. Until we get this thing figured out and we can tell who is who, the safest thing for me to give you is celibacy, solitude, and sobriety. Celibacy, solitude, no fucking no being around people. At this point in time, you're going to have to stay to yourself. If you have female co-workers, I don't know what to tell you. Because at any fucking point in time, the reason why I don't know what to tell you is, like, I, I don't want to just tell y'all, I mean, you don't got to go as far as recording a bitch all the time. But I'm telling you, dog, you... You not going to feel what it is I'm saying. You going to think this shit is crazy until the next nigga get bam. Until the next nigga get bam. Until the next nigga get bam. Who in the fuck is this? I'm looking at the camera. Somebody been pulling my goddamn driveway. Oh. You better back the fuck up. Gotta watch that shit, dog. You wanna fuck him? Gotta keep the cameras on, dog. I didn't have to get more cameras while doing this shit, whatever like that, because you really gotta be on point. You really gotta be on point. But you think it's a joke in a game and you working at Best Buy, you got a female co-worker, she telling you, oh yeah, that's bullshit. Can't believe they bam Cosby like that. But just as soon as goddamn that hoe wanna fuck whatever like that and you don't wanna go for it, ho listen to what I'm telling you. Hoes are in prison and they're saying, I don't know what happened, uh, it just went too far, I didn't expect to do that. A lot of people have made those type of mistakes. Um, a lot of white hoes put niggas in jail um, for rape. We've seen it multiple times. If you do not believe it, please go look it up. 
being falsely accused of rape. It's happened on many occasions. And those people, they like, I don't know why I did it and all that shit like that. It's not, they have to grow the fuck up. I don't know why I was just crazy then. But this motherfucker that spent the last eight years of his life in prison because you, did, you just didn't know what life was. You were confused. And because of that, someone with something to lose would say, I'm just going to back. I can't trust you. A bitch will pick up a knife in an argument and stab you. A bitch will uh, boil water and throw it on you. Not meaning to do it, but at that point in time, she needs for you to feel her. What's to say that now that this is being brought, you don't think in her mind she understands how easy it is to get you fucked over? You have a job, you have a career. Do you think that she's so naive and she, she's not showing you any signs of being not even a little bit scandalous? A little bit heartless, a little bit ruthless to where she'll make this type of mistake? My nigga, it can be as big as you fuck her sister, you fuck her mama, you fuck her best friend. She finds out about it. She's hurt. Now she tell the goddamn law you raped her, not even this night. A month ago, and she was too scared to come forward. Understand what I'm telling you. A nothing ass bitch will come up to you and ask you for your number. She'll engage you. She'll say, let's fuck. And two months later, say that you raped her and you will be arrested, my nigga. Do you think I'm bullshitting? Do you think I'm lying, my nigga? At right now, at this point, right now, dog, a bitch can say two years ago you raped her and she's that's why the fuck she's fucked up right now. That's why she don't got no money. That's why she ain't got to get up and go to do nothing. That's why her kids is running around snotty nose because you raped her two years ago and you don't even remember this whole dog. Do you understand why I'm telling you at this point in time until we get this shit put back together we're gonna have to separate because at this point in time I don't know who is above reproach who in your life can you say has not made a mistake a female has not acted emotionally has not regretted her actions who is that grown that they won't Seek revenge if you hurt them. Do you understand that these hoes can now use this as a tool to make you stay faithful? As a tool to trap a nigga? Hoes took child support. Hoes took children in general. Birthing a child, getting pregnant. They took that from reproducing and repopulating the planet being fruitful and multiplying, they took that from that to a relationship fixer. This will fix our relationship. A child will make us, make our bond stronger. You tell me with a straight face that you don't believe that this worthless asshole that you with right now isn't so fucking pathetic that she'll do anything to keep you with her. Anything to make you stay faithful. The bitch didn't leave you last time you cheated on her because she's a nothing ass bitch. Because she's not there for that. She's there because she doesn't want to be alone and she knows that nobody else she feels in her mind. Her self esteem is so low. Her confidence is so low that she really feels like she's not shit in the world. And she's probably fucking right. I gotta talk to you. I have no fucking pity or sympathy for this type of bitch. A bitch that will try to do anything other <laughs> than fix the relationship to fix the relationship. Meaning... If you think that you're going to do anything, you think you're going to do a threesome to spice up the relationship. As if it's not understood that you're just allowing him to cheat. That's what the fuck that is. 
But that's how low your self-esteem is. Because a bad bitch will tell a nigga you want a threesome, go find another hoe. A bad bitch can threaten a nigga with leaving him, and that'll be enough to make him straighten up. A nothing-ass bitch has to threaten a nigga with taking you to jail, taking you to child support, getting pregnant, keeping the child, whatever the fuck. A nothing-ass bitch has to threaten a nigga with outside shit that the government can do to you. A real bad bitch, a real bitch can just say, my nigga, that's what you want to do? I'm gone. And nigga break down. Because she actually offers something. This is a sad day. But it was a day that was bound to happen. As soon as the Me Too mo movement began, I really feel like as soon as uh, child support laws were first manipulated, this shit was meant to happen. Because as soon as the laws started favoring a bitch over a man, as soon as the law started using, you know, it's supposed to be a separation between church and state. And that's, I find it odd because when you get in court, you got to put your hand on the Bible. The fuck? But as soon as you take the law and push it towards a bitch to where, like, in court, the bitch gets the child automatically. Um, in a marriage, the, 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 the bitch get paid. Everything pointed towards the bitch. This shit right here was bound to happen. And I want you to understand this and let this be a lesson. Big things start off small. Cedar tree, any example you want to use. Big things start off small. You got to nip bullshit in the bud. Just as soon as you see a fucked up sign in the motherfucker, you tell them to change that shit or you get the fuck out. But nowadays, you can't even really do that with a bitch because you tell a bitch to straighten up. The hoe will straighten up, and in her mind, she's like, I'm going to get this nigga. Please listen to when I told you a relationship will be over with for a whole fucking month. This last 30 days of y'all relationship has been her boxing you the fuck in and making it an open and shut case. Pay attention, my nigga. Big Facts Podcast. I'm Elvin Seiko. Make sure y'all hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.